Hey guys, so today I am going to show you all of the natural skincare products that I use on my face and a few of these products are DIY and made by me and I'll be showing you exactly how to make them in this video and the rest of the products are natural skincare brands that I use and love and that I could recommend to you. I start off my skincare routine with my natural DIY face wash that I love so much and have been using for years now. And I will share with you exactly how to make this recipe that I have already created in another video that I will link above and below this video. So check that out if you're interested in making it yourself. To use this product, I wash my hands and then I wet my face thoroughly with water. And look how nicely it foams up. And then I just massage the product into my skin in circular motions. So this face wash is ideal for dry skin. The soapiness is from Castile Soap, an all natural concentrated soap that you mix with water. This face wash also has really nourishing oils added to it, which gives it its moisturizing quality and it is super soft and gentle on the skin. I have really dry skin and I have always struggled with finding a face wash that doesn't leave my skin really dry. And this is the only product that doesn't leave my skin dry afterwards. I've even tried a lot of different natural brands but this is the only one that seems to work for me so I always have a big batch made of it ready to go. You can also make it smell exactly how you want it to with your chosen essential oils here. Just be careful it does really sting if it gets into your eyes so I always shut my eyes really tight when I am cleaning my eyes and then I rinse my eyes with water, pat it dry and only open my eyes then so next is my DIY toner, the only toner that I ever use. And to make this product, you are going to need a spray bottle. And to the spray bottle, you want to add apple cider vinegar with the mother in it, which is the little bits that you see at the bottom of the bottle, which has all of its nourishing properties. So you want to fill one third of the bottle with apple cider vinegar and then the rest of the bottle two thirds with distilled water. And that is it, you have your natural toner and this balances out the pH of your skin, which is what you need a toner to do. And this does kind of leave you smelling like a salad, but trust me, you get used to that smell pretty quickly. It does not bother me anymore. I actually like the smell of it now. So I just spray that all over my face and my neck and I let it dry fully before I put anything else on top. So for my serum, I use Kinvara's Rose Hip Face Serum with sea buckthorn and aloe vera. And Kinvara is my most favorite natural skincare brand ever. It is filled with the most amazing plant ingredients. And this particular serum is the nicest smelling skincare product that I've ever owned. It smells like lemongrass and I am obsessed with anything that smells like lemons for some reason. And it leaves you smelling so nice for a long time. The serum also feels really light on your skin and it is not too oily, which I like. And let's not forget the neck and massage the product upwards and then down into the chest as well. Next, I apply my aloe vera sun cream by Aloe Pura and this sunscreen comes in SPF 15, 25 and 50. And I have struggled for a long time to find a sunscreen that isn't too thick on the skin. I don't want it to leave any white lines and this one is perfect for that. It rubs and absorbs into the skin really well and it is not too thick and not too hard to apply. And it also has soothing properties from the aloe vera in there. So I just apply this evenly on my face and my neck and my shoulders and chest if they will be exposed to the sun. But I wear sunscreen every single day and I live in Ireland and it's not sunny most days. I still wear sunscreen because it is the number one thing that is going to protect you against wrinkles. And if it is light outside, which is every day, that means the sun rays is still getting to your skin. And then I apply my Trilogy Ultra Hydrating Face Cream and this cream is honestly the most interesting texture that I have ever felt in a cream. It almost feels silky. It is really, really hydrating, but it, it does not leave your skin feeling oily. I don't know, it's, ju it's just the most interesting texture. It feels super soft and it leaves your skin really smooth and even and glowing. It is my favorite ever moisturizer. 
Also on the back of the bottle it says our unique ingredient rosapine combines nourishing rosehip oil with super antioxidants to help protect against the visible signs of aging. Evening primrose and coconut deeply hydrate and nourish while vitamin and mineral rich manuka honey softens and promotes healing and the gentle fragrance includes soothing lavender. It smells kind of creamy with a really really small hint of lavender. So just to mention quickly, Trilogy also do an ultra hydrating hand cream, which I love, but this isn't the one that I'm using at the moment. And then at nighttime, I will always go in with my Trilogy Vitamin C Overnight Mask. And this has a really similar texture again to the ultra hydrating face cream, but a little bit more creamier and thicker. So I do only apply a very small amount of this on my face and I leave it on overnight. I have been obsessed recently with this Yope hand cream. It has the most interesting scent. It smells like herbal tea and it has a little bit of mint essential oil in it. So it leaves your hands feeling really fresh with a slight hint of mintiness. It also has an almost watery texture, so it's not oily at all. And it absorbs into your hands really quickly, but it still leaves them really moisturized and soft and feeling fresh from the mint. And last but not least, my Burt's Bees Mango Lip Balm. I am in love with this stuff, it smells amazing. Okay, that is it for me guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something from it and I will see you in my next video, bye!